Today I'm at the Mac Fest in Bury 2024 guys it's bigger and better so much packed in today you're gonna want to watch this video to the end keep watching guys it's gonna be a good one <laughs> Yourself. Hi everyone, Sandra Wormsley here, Mayor of Berry. And I'm James Bentley, consort to the Mayor. Fantastic, thanks for coming down to the event today. Um, it's buzzing already, people are already here. How are you finding it? It's great so far, so I've been looking around the strolls, looking forward to the show later on. Yeah. And um, lots of nice food and things to buy, so we're going to have a, a good look around and make sure that we spend lots of money. Fantastic. And what are you looking for today, the performance or the food? I am looking forward to the performance, but I love Asian food and I'm really looking forward anything to that. Anything in particular yeah. you're looking out for? Something spicy, please. Something spicy? Yeah, that's... Uh... What about yourself? Have you found anything yet? Um, well, I like panipuri. Panipuri? I don't okay. know if you've got them here today, but... I'm not sure. I haven't had a look around yet, but let's let's have just cover it together and see if there's anything. Yeah. So, what are you looking for in terms of performance? I think the comedy I've seen uh, on the itinerary, so that yeah. should be interesting. Yeah, I do like stand-up comedy. Okay, I'm looking forward to that too as well, guys. Guys, it's warming up here now. People are coming in. The buzz and the excitement is here. Keep watching. It's going to be really good. Guys, guess who I'm with now? And I can't feel him. I'm, I hope you guys can see him. Look how tall he is. I mean, I'm a tall guy, but, you know, how, how tall are you? I'm six or six. Six or three. Okay, just introduce yourself, who you are. Okay. I'm uh, David Catterall, I'm one of the deputy lab tenants for the Greater Manchester. Fantastic, and what do you do? What's your job? Um, I, I actually work for Berry Council as well, my day job, but as a deputy lieutenant, I uh, represent the Lord Lieutenant, who is the uh, personal representative of King Charles III. So wow. we get, okay. um, so if the Lord Lieutenant can't attend an event, we get de we're deputised and we, we we attend things like civic events, right, uh, citizenships, right, right. but we do reviews for things like the King's Award for Voluntary Service and that kind of thing. Wow, okay. And then we try and encourage people to uh, be put forward for personal honours and that kind of thing. Wow, okay. Well, if you want to put me on one of those lists, <laughs> Okay, so how are you finding the event here today? Oh, this is brilliant. I love it. I, I love the Met anyway, but I love the, the, just the amount of different culture events that, cultural events that go on uh, and something like this is exactly what we need in Berry. It's a great venue, isn't it? It's I mean, brilliant. It's yeah. a beautiful venue. It's, it, it's here to kind of represent the communities it serves. You know, Berry's got a massive uh, Asian, Asian community and this, things like this should happen more and more in this venue. Is this particularly for the Asian community or is it open to anyone? Oh, it's open to anyone, I yeah. think. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's fabulous. I, I think Berry is a diverse city. Yes. And yeah, yeah, I think you're bringing all of those cultures together over here. Yeah, and that's exactly and, what it's And like putting on a fantastic show as well. Yes, I'm really what, looking forward to that. What are you looking forward for? I, I know there's food over here as well. <laughs> there's a 360 just behind you as well. Yes, I've What's your done. highlight? What is the thing that you're looking for? I'm just looking forward to the, the acts. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, uh, like I say, it's an amazing venue um, and it's used for everything. I just can't wait to see what uh, what know? Umran has pulled, to, pulled yeah, out yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you know all of the acts? Is there any no, I don't. I know I don't. I've, I've come, in, come in blind. She, um, when I've been talking to Umran about it, she was like, don't worry, you'll enjoy it all. So, uh, yeah, I just yeah, can't wait. I'm just going to go in there and, and enjoy. Right, guys, guess what? We have the biggest celebrity of the evening, and she's here. It's the one and only Umrana. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Jay? Okay. So you are the organizer of the Mac Fest. For Berry. For Berry. For Berry. And for many, many, many other events. Yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself, so people who've not, who don't so, know. So, um, 
I'm Amran, I run the Bain Project in Berry, which is a, a community group, a charitable community group. And we do try to do things in the community that to uh, engage with the community, the South Asian community, because we find out there's lots of gaps in the community and there's not much for them. So I want to uh, organise events for everyone to come, the diverse community of Berry, to come and enjoy themselves. So as you know, I've done the Berry Mela uh, two times, and this is my third uh, Berry Mac Fest. And I think it's fantastic to bring all the community together and engage with them. And the whole point of the Mac Fest is um, to tackle Islamophobia and to break all the barriers and to introduce people to look at our culture and show what it's all about. You're doing some fantastic work, Umrana. I'm, I'm following you, watching you for a long time. And this today, is, I'm really excited about this one. Yes. So you've got a mixture of things here today. You have, yes. You have, you know, food, you've got some entertainment, and you've got mixed entertainment. So you've got yeah. singing and comedy. How did that idea come about? So my point is about bringing, showing the culture of uh, Pakistan and uh, South Asia. So uh, I want you to bring something for everybody to enjoy. So the children, ladies, older people. It's about a family um, entertainment. So I thought I'd bring everything together. And um, yeah, and that's I hear, is it, is it true? Somebody told me the event is actually free. Yes, it is. So you're not, you're not charging for this? I'm not charging anybody. Wow, guys. Because Jerry, I understand. You've got you to give a, you give a round of applause to Abrana. I mean, this type of event, you know, people charge a lot of money for. So it's going to be really entertaining, isn't it? It is, yeah. Because of the cost of living as well, I do understand it's not affordable to go to some events. And especially in our hometown, Berry is a deprived area in Greater uh, Manchester. So I'm going to give something to my community where I live as well, uh, for them to enjoy as well. Fantastic. You're doing some great work. Keep it up. And I know, you know, you're rushed off your feet at the moment. You're doing, you've got a great team. Yes. You know, I've, I've met your team a few times now. So they're doing fantastic work. So I won't keep you too long, but we'll, yeah. we'll come back to you in a, in a few minutes time oh, yeah. and see how things are going. Perfect. Yeah? Thank you, Jay. Thanks Thank you. so much. Right, guys. Now I'm here with somebody special. Do you want to just tell me a little bit about yourself? Who, who is that? Who's that, that? Was, that was me. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> yeah, so look, I'm Charlotte. I'm a cabinet member for culture and uh, economy here at Berry Council. Really excited to be here at MacFest sort of supporting my good friend uh, Umrana. It's buzzing already. It's uh, yeah, always it is, yeah. such a fun event and a great part of the uh, annual calendar of events here in Berry. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about your job. You had such a long title over there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can fit that in in the intro. You know, like the, the I fighting actually underneath. missed a bit out as well. It's Did culture, you? economy, and skills. Wow. So yeah, so, it's, it's so, intense. So tell the audience out there what, what does that mean? Well, well, look, let's talk about the culture bit because that's why I'm here today. So my job is to support and advocate for the amazing cultural organisations we've got here in Berry, uh, Bain Project and the stuff they do around MacFest and the Mail are absolutely at the heart of that. I just get to go to lots of cool, fun stuff across Berry. It's not a bad job at all, is it? No, not at all. And people are walking in front of the camera again. <laughs> but we'll just carry on rolling. We'll roll, we'll roll with it. Yeah. Right, so MacFest, tell us what is it all about? Well, I'm hoping if it's anything like last year there's going to be some uh, good entertainment there's going to be some boogie I was going to say it's better than last year we're here we're here this year yeah I hope so well I'll find you afterwards if it's not uh, yeah bit of entertainment bit of culture bit of good fun hopefully learn something new about different cultures and meet different people too fantastic and there's lots here so I'm looking around there's a 360 which is quite unique I've seen that one before there's lots of drinks have you had a drink so far? I've had one of the welcome drinks I've had some of the pink tea um, it's, it's do you like pink tea? Yes. Yeah. It's very sweet. Do you, do you know what pink tea? Do you know what pink tea is? Uh, well, it's tea that's pink with a little bit of pistachio in it. I'll let you into a little secret. So pink tea is actually green tea. Yeah, green tea. With a couple tea. of little extra things in there yeah. to make it a little bit sweeter. And I believe it's supposed to be had on special occasions, so very fitting for today, I think. Or every night like me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're looking forward to the event today. It's it's warming up. You know, we've got some lovely people like yourself over here, and we've got some performances on. Yes, well, were you here last year? Um, not to this particular one. Well, then you missed out on my uh, getting on stage and doing some dancing. So I Oh, really? As long as I can escape before that happens again, I'll be very happy. You know what? You know what? You've told me about it now. <laughs> so we're going to see Charlotte dance on stage today. Yeah, well, some A might performance call it by Charlotte is coming, guys. Keep watching. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm here. I'm enjoying some Kashmiri tea. Just introduce yourself, guys. So my name is Amina. My name's Kaval. Okay, and you're a little bit hiding, hidden behind there. Can we see you? Can we see you on the camera, guys? Say hi to everyone. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Big fans out there. Anybody you want to say hi to? My mom. Hi, mom. 
Oh, hi, Dad. Dad's at home. Oh, Dad's at home? Yeah. Where's, why is Dad at home? Huh? I'm watching Teller. <laughs> we need to get in here and help, help you guys, yeah? Okay, so guys, we're going to review your Kashmiri tea here. Okay. Who's made it? We can't tell you that. It's just a family recipe. A family recipe. Secret. Secret recipe. Well, I'm going to taste test it, guys. I don't know if I can show you guys on camera, but pink tea, yeah? So I'm really fussy with my tea. And uh, I do like karak chai, and this one is my pink tea, my favorite. Let's try a little bit. Honest review, this is, yeah? That is really nice. Thank you. Not too oversweet. Nice taste, flavors coming through there. Secret recipe is fantastic. So I'm having a little sort of halal shot glass, guys, because, because I'm filming, I don't want to have a full cup. But actually, I'm really enjoying that. So I've actually come back. This is actually round two, guys. I've liked it so much that I thought I have to film a little bit. But fantastic, guys. You know, so much. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much. My name's Karen Lee, Deputy Lieutenant for Greater Manchester. Hi. Hi, everyone. Yeah, it's the only person. That's what I like. Somebody like me. Yeah. And you hear this event today. How are you finding everything so Oh, I love it. I mean, just look around you. It's absolutely amazing. Learning all the different things, where the different sweets are from, whether they're from India or Pakistan or and different areas. Great. It's just, you learn so much and it's enjoyable. You meet different people. What more can you ask? Exactly. And what are you looking forward to today? I know there's performances on, there's food on, lots of things. <laughs> What's not to look forward to? I mean, come on, like I said, all these people enjoying themselves, smiling, learning, can't ask for anything. Okay, better. tell us a bit about your job, what do you do? Uh, I'm a retired police officer, and now I do complete voluntary work. So I work with a lot of different charities, and as a, I'm a magistrate, a registrar, and work with the Lord Lieutenant and deputise for her absolute privilege and honour. Have you grown up in Bury? Yes. Yes? Can you okay. tell? Of course I can tell, but for the audience out there who maybe haven't, because I mean, people who watch my channel, they're from all over the, the world, you know, so tell people what, what brings them to Bury, what is the thing that they should come and see in Bury? I'm biased, but Bury is a proud, proud town. We are diverse, we welcome everybody, we love everybody, but most of all, we're a proud town. So come and visit us. There's so much to see here. There's the diverse communities, there's the East Lanks Railway, there's the Lancashire Fusiliers Museum. There's so much to see here and so much countryside round and about. Coffee shops, bars, whatever, restaurants, whatever takes your pleasure. I'm gonna test your knowledge a little bit about Bury now, Go. yeah? Go. So Go. originally, Bury actually used to be, in, I think it was in 1920, up to 1929, it used to be a manufacturing town for cotton. Yes. Did you know about that? Yes, I did. So what's the main thing now? Obviously the industry has gone away now. So what would you say is the one thing that you could put on Bury on the map for? Bury Market. Bury Market. <laughs> Guys, make sure you come down to Bury Market. Bury Market. Maybe the next review, maybe the next review should be over there. The, yeah? best, the best in the world. Right guys, I've moved over to the bar area. There seems to be lots of drinks over here. I hope these are not alcoholic because I'm sure this is a halal event. Let's check them out. Can I ask what kind of drinks you got over here? This is coconut and pineapple, okay. lemon and strawberry, uh, and this is lemon. Are they non-alcoholic? I'm thinking. Oh yeah, yeah. What are they? What are, they? Are, they, are, they are they are they juices or? Juice. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna try one. Let's have a look. Uh, halal cheese. Mm, what is that? Strawberry. Lemon and strawberry. Yeah. Okay, so these are basically like cordial sort of drinks that you have. Very nice, you guys. I'm gonna just finish this drink. I'll see, catch up with you guys in a minute. So I've come over to another store, but they're not quite ready for me yet. So this is behind the scenes area going on. So guys, how are you? I'm all right. And what's the name of your company? Uh, the factory. The, the factory. I'm getting free advertising here, y'all. Yes. You, you need to come up with a name quicker. Yes. Yeah. I know you took a moment. Where are you guys based? Very. Very. Okay. And what is it that you are selling here today? Fluda. 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 Yes. Fluda. Fluda. Yes. Are you sure? Confirm? Yes. Okay. Right. So just off camera. These people, nice people came up to me and they said, we're going to make you a nice one. And the question I was asking them, are they not giving nice ones for everybody else? Yeah, we are, we are. Yeah. I mean, for you especially. <laughs> extra yeah, nice extra ah. nice ones. No, no, 
I want just exactly what you give to everybody else. No special treatment for me, yeah? Okay, let's see. Let's see what is what, what's going in here. Tell me what's going on. So we have jelly ice cream coffee, and then coffee ice cream. Jelly ice cream, not asli. No asli ice cream. <laughs> So it's a jelly, so a layer of jelly with coffee yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Ah, oh, you mean you mean the Jello jelly? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jello yeah. jelly. Yeah. yeah, and then we've got this mixture here, which has got uh, milk, vermicelli, right. chia seeds, uh, raisins, yeah. almonds, and a lot, on, a lot going on in there. Okay, who's made this then? Uh, all of us, yeah. The the mum's input as well. Mom, yeah. mom's, mom's made it, yeah. And you guys coming here grafting and trying to sell it, yeah. She made it once and then we made it after that. Yeah. <laughs> she showed we it. Learned from her. Yeah. Learned learned from from it. Okay, okay, let's try with it. Okay. You say stop. Say stop, 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 stop. Yeah, I just want to try a little bit, that's all, yeah? Okay, so I like these cups. Nice, nice little cups. Let me show you the cups. Okay, lovely. Okay, so let's try this. Shall I hold your mic? You want to hold this for me, yeah? Yes, sure. It's called multitasking, yes. yeah? <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork yes. makes the dream work. So, lots of stuff going on in here. So you've seen the, what's this, Sevian there? What is yeah, it? Sevian, yeah? yeah. So Sevian there, you've got some, is that cool for you? Ice cream? Yeah. Okay, and you've got jelly at the bottom. I'm going to dig in straight to the jelly, because that's what I like. Bismillah. <laughs> wow. Mmm. I'm liking the strawberry in there. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, strawberry jelly. Jelly? Yeah. What's the strawberry in there? There's no strawberry. No strawberry? Uh, yeah. Raisin. It's pink, so what's making it pink? Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's secret ingredient. My secret ingredient. <laughs> Fantastic guys, I'm loving this. I might have another one. So you know like I've just had the last shots. I think I might have another. Yeah, just down it uh, one. <laughs> amazing guys. I can't even speak. If you're not here, you're missing out. Make sure you come and check them out in Berry. So we are backstage and we are with a unique person called Shazada G. Yes. yes? So why the G? Uh, the G, well, it can stand for uh, many things. Um, Ali G, Shazada G, and also uh, G in our language is a very respectful way of yeah. calling someone like Ab Ayana G, you know? I was thinking that. So. Regardless of whether, well, I don't want to say nobody would not disrespect you, but you have to say G, you know, so like very respectfully we have to call you. <laughs> That's what I felt as soon as I come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to add the G, otherwise it doesn't work. But um, yeah, so I do impersonations uh, and uh, I got into doing impersonations from a very young age, even though I didn't take it very seriously at that time. And it was actually, it, it's weird, there's a bit of a sad story. I, I lost my mother when I was eight years old and my father was in depression and he used to, you know, he stopped working, he was on the sofa and he was watching so many Bollywood movies and to give him company, I used to sit down. Now, little did I know that as I was watching these movies, I was absorbing their body language and, and their vocal and the way they speak and so forth. Are these like Bollywood movies you're talking Bollywood about? Bollywood movies, yeah. yes. Okay. So I, you know, I started off my mimicry uh, what, during college and friends used to come up to me and say please can you talk to my girlfriend I, I you know tell her that you know I've just told her I'm with Saif Ali Khan can you do Saif Ali Khan and I'm like come on man so cool racist Sansome man wow. wow what's going on I've just met your boyfriend and they used to be screaming on the phone and stuff so um, and then when years ahead after uni and everything and um, when I when it was coronavirus and a lot of people were reflecting on their life and things they would have wanted to do. I too was doing that and I was thinking, well, you know what, I would have wished I, I carried on this mimicry, you know, I had something. I should have, I said, well, why not? Let me download TikTok. Like many others at that time, I downloaded TikTok. So is that the first time you came on social media? Yes, that, that was the first time I came on social media. Prior to that, I was on social media, but for different reasons. That's a like, like just a casual profile like, like everybody has. No, no, I was actually working for the great Imran Khan. Oh, wow. For his political as, party. As PTI or the boxer? As, 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 no, the PTI. PTI so, guy, yeah. So I was working for his social media team and I was in Pakistan and I was taking interviews of local people, Ririwala, businessman, rickshaw driver, and I was talking to them about the current political scenario. Little did I know that my videos went viral. Imran Khan tweeted one of them, and, and then PTI came in contact with me and said, well, you know these videos that you're randomly doing, can you join us? So I joined them, and, and that's when I started on social media. Wow, that's a fantastic story. Yeah. So how did you come across PTI? I mean, how did you get involved with them? So yeah, so uh, when Imran Khan was not a prime minister, and he was doing this big uh, dharna protest in front of the parliament, I was very much 
thinking, wow, you know, here's a guy. He also lost his mother to cancer like myself. I always looked up to him and I thought, well, yeah, I had a holiday planned. I thought, why not take a little mobile phone and, and talk about the political scenario? Because at that time, it was very big. Um, so I, uh, yeah, that's how I started. And as I was leaving Pakistan, um, AIY, um, I gave my videos to AIY News, which is one of the very big news channels. They came back to me and then I started working for them for two years in Karachi. So I believe Imran Khan's based in Lahore at the moment. Are you uh, from Lahore yourself? Uh, Imran Khan at the moment is in prison. Uh, in Adia. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, he Let's not go down there. We'll be here forever <laughs> with that, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll speak off camera a little yeah, bit yeah, more. Yeah, well, yeah. He, he, I think he's uh, from Miawali originally, right? Is he Miawali? Yeah, Miawali. Yeah, yeah. um, and then, yeah, he has a house in Lahore too. But yeah, no, um, it was a great. I met him a couple of times as well. Great man. Um, but yeah, so that's what started off in social so media. Which town are you from yourself in Pakistan? I am from Chakwal. Chakwal. Okay, describe that. The nearest big town. Islamabad. Islamabad. Fantastic, guys. So, from Islamabad to UK, how long have you been in the UK? You said you've been born, yeah, in born the UK? here. Born here. Okay, so, but you were involved in sort of yeah, social yeah. media and things social over media, there. Yeah, so, how are you finding social media and what's your main medium? Uh, well, I do comedy. I love making people laugh. I enjoy, once I upload a video, I always keep my eye on the comments and I love reading people's reactions and so on and so forth. And I feel that we're living in a time where mental health is something that is uh, obvious in society, but a lot of people are going through depression and whatever I can do. And because like, I only started doing this because of my father who was in depression as well. So mm. giving something back to the community, making people laugh, that's what gives me the, the rush. So do you enjoy more in front of the camera sort of, um, where is it? Is it mainly at home I'm assuming you're making or is it out and about? Uh, so the way I do things, uh, my videos are usually I s go live. So I put the... You do live. Yeah, yeah, I do live. And then I just randomly think of things that come in my head. I say them out so there's no script. And then I download the live and the bits that I like, the comedy where I think, okay, this is funny. I then edit it and I upload it. And oh wow, that, that's interesting. I've not, not come across that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and people normally specifically make these sketches yeah, and then yeah, put it yeah, on. Yeah. So you do it, you do the live first. Everything's spontaneous. Like now I'm performing on stage, I don't know what I'm going to say, to be honest. Obviously, you make it up as you go along. I make it up as I go along. <laughs> and you know what? It's, it's, seen, it's been okay for me so far. So, how do you find that? I mean, if you are on stage, and you're not prepared in, in that sense where you don't know what you're going to be performing today, mm -hmm. then do you, do you find stage fright or do you get uh, stuck? No, not anymore. Not at, anymore. At, at first, you know, in the beginning I used to, but now, no, no. You just, whatever you look at, whatever you see, you, things just come in your head. And plus I've got a few voices that I can do. I can just kind of mix it up. So it's, it's, it's good like that. And also, um, I, my Shah Rukh Khan is something that people like. Go on, let's hear a bit of your sketches because I know that's what you you know yeah. mainly do. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to do uh, some English impressions. Um, at the moment, I've only got two, but they're not. They still need tweaking. So uh, one is Mr. Bean. He doesn't oh. hardly talk, okay. but it is like my name is Mr. Bean, and my job is to sit and look at paintings and by looking at this painting i can't so that's that's him and then gordon randy right i'm here next to this guy he's going to be making one of the best curries right let's see how it is so that's a bit more gordon Ramsay. i think on that one you didn't swear did you i didn't <laughs> i didn't swear but yeah so yeah. so i'm you know i things that there's still things that are still in the the lineup that i whenever i get the time whenever i'm driving or if i'm like walking it's in my head i'm kind of you know some people who are you know walking behind me they might be thinking what what an umpty why is he talking to himself but i'm actually kind of practicing so yeah Unless I have an impression of Osman. Osman Faruqi. Yeah. Before he comes in. <laughs> yeah, before he comes in. Where's Marcus? I've told Marcus to come out. Where is he? Uh, tell Marcus. Marcus. All he says is Marcus. Mar <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> what? Have they got? I, my my gala, it's not well. Can you talk to me? Can you a bit, bit, bit Osman Faruqi? I worked with Osman for uh, two months, toured the whole country in Beauty and the Blood. Oh yes, of course. I was you in did. a panto of course you did, that, yeah, that yeah. you guys saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, he's an amazing guy. So he's going to be performing today. It'll be nice to kind of. I don't know how I'm going to introduce him. He's pretty scared how I'm going to introduce him. <laughs> I was like, I, I can say anything I wish now. He's 
a bit annoyed, but yeah, so. So how long have you worked with each other? Uh, well, we, we had mutual respect for each other over social media. He followed me, Alpha, uh, um, I followed him. We had a, a few conversations just on, on thing. And then this Beauty and the Blah happened. And then we got to, so I've only known the chap for about six months now properly. Um, but, um, it, you know, he stayed over mine for a couple of days. You know, we, you know, we've had, a, a Oh, so you must have got really close then if you stayed over. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to tell us? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, but <laughs> how did that happen? Tell us more. <laughs> no, no, listen, la ladies, ladies, yeah. he's straight. Okay. Don't okay. get scared. <laughs> I'm straight as well, but he's straight. Okay. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm sure he is but the excitement part was that you know how did that come that you know he stayed um, uh, well he wanted to he was uh, coming over to London he was going to um, stay over in, in a hotel and I said well you know what just stay over around, around mine and you know little did I know he would say oh, yes so being a friend I, in, I was a friend in mine me, yeah? I was just being kind of you know get there nee 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 koi baat nee 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 koi zarurat nee he was like yeah fine and I was like, oh, oh so you was so, like, so you okay. she was like Arjana, you know if you're there, Arjana, and, uh, and he goes, he yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll take up your arm. He took it literally, <laughs> and and my God, when that door opened, front door, one suitcase, ke baad, dusa suitcase, baad, tisa, oi, oi. Main ka kitte hafte thare ho yar. Pehle patate. Did you come by flight? <laughs> no, no, I barely joke. He was a great guest, and we had a fun. We had lots of fun. Fantastic, that's good. Um, so he's obviously here to do singing. Do you have any singing abilities as well? Uh, I do sing in the uh, bathroom. Okay. I was going to say toilet there, but. Yeah, keep it clean. Keep yeah, it clean. keep it clean. Yeah, yeah. Um, not when I'm constipated because then the sound doesn't come out. Nothing doesn't come out. Then. All right. Okay, keep it. We, we don't want no more, no more dirty talk. Okay, okay. Clean, please. Yeah? Clean, please. Okay, okay. Let me sing. Okay, the only song that I sing. Here we go. Okay, first let me sing like Shazad Roy. I'll do a Shazad Roy. Oh, okay. I'll do a Shazad Roy singing impersonation. Oh, I was going to say, what was his classic song that I used to listen uh, to? I only know one. Yeah. तेरी सूरत ने गाहों में फिरती रहे तेरी सूरत ने गाहों में फिरती रहे इश्क तेरा सताए तो मैं क्या करूं हो तेरी सूरत ने गाहों में फिर सदास एंड देन वी गॉट कुमार सानू इज मोर लाइक तेरे दर्द से दिल लाबाद रहा कुछ भूल गए कुछ याद रहा कुछ मैं आंखें बंद करता तो मैं सिर्फ तुम्हें देखता मैं आंखें मैं आंखें खोलता हूं तो सिर्फ तुम्हें अपने सामने पाना चाहता हूं हमराना किधर हो तुम हमराना प्लीज कम हमराना प्लीज ये भूल तुम्हारे लिए है अमराना ये मैं नेबर्स के गार्डन में जाके मैंने इस रोज को तोड़ के तुम्हारे लिए लाया हूं Yeah, I went to the bloody fence, went over the fence, jumped over the fence, what? got this pool. What like is the cheap version of your all the fun time pleasant? How do you know that? Tax to all it. Yeah? Reduced price, 25p. Well, you know, this is, you know, we're living in a time where, you know, it's hard. Okay? Everything is hard. Anyway, shut up and out. Come on, say round of applause everybody.
smell like it, you're a bit of dead crowd, to be honest. And you smell too. Eh, eh, eh. I'm only joking. Okay, so now we have lots of things, but I'm going to do impersonations now. Who knows about the Pakistani elections that happened? Yeah, do you guys know? The elections happened really bad. Let's do some characters now. If Imran Khan was here, how would he sound? Dekhi mere Pakistaniyo. Dekhi. Main jab tak teen dafa dekha nahi gaya, dekhi nahi gaya, main apni speech ko kamal nahi kar sakta. To dekhi. Main ab sab ko ye kehna chahta hu ki main kadi 804 hu. Mujhe meri jagah prison mein bahut choti hai. Main wahan bhag nahi sakta. Main wahan pe apna jump squats nahi kar sakta. लेकिन मैं पाकिस्तान के लिए यहाँ जेल में हूँ आप सब के लिए एंड देन शबाश लीफ इज हरे बाप यहाँ पे हरे बाप मैं बात करूँगा खान के बारे में एक दोस्त का नाम नियाजी है उसका नाम खान है और ये जेल में पता नहीं ये क्या करता है और मैं खुदा का खौफ करें अल्लाह के फजल करने से हम पाकिस्तान को बेहतर बनाएंगे मैं सिंधी परियानी बनाता हूँ और मैं सिंधी परियानी फिर बांटता हूँ लोगों को देता हूँ इलेक्शन से पहले लेकिन फिर भी हम जीतते नहीं हैं ये बड़े अफसोस की बात है There you go that's your election in a nutshell Okay now but we need more people, uh, enough of politics, but we do need more people in Pakistan who can face these tyrants that are in, in the government right now. And we have one child who has the ability to fight villains. Come up here and introduce yourself. What a beautiful mashallah. Abu Bakr is a, is, is a very talented kid. He skips. Huh? No, he doesn't skip. He doesn't skip. He does martial arts. He does martial arts, people, and he's going to teach us all some moves today, aren't you? Maybe. Can you? I don't think you'll be able to do a fly kick in this. Can you do a fly kick in that? No. Okay, well, no kicking. But hit it. We need some music. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> the martial arts one. Yes. Now we're ready. Okay, show us what you got. Family is <laughs> screw you families. 
says, look at that. That's a couple woman there. How did you propose to him? What did you say? Um, did you say that? Habibi, my, my mother likes you. <laughs> Can you be her son-in-law? Huh? We, uh, we just talked and uh, we decided to. Mashallah. So where are you guys from? Where are you? Oh, wow. Pakistan and Morocco. That's a good mix. So tajin with a bit of a spice. <laughs> and I love tajin. Take a blue ball. Muhammad, the stage is yours, my friend. <laughs> This is a very good song. It's a fun topic. Okay. Have you been here already? Oh, we all know that. We all know that. Oh, Madri Law's got jealous. Oh my god. What the hell is wrong with you? See? What are you? Vicious woman. Vicious woman. Masha. Have you been here already?
Yes, thank you. That was my set. I love this take care. interviews what a fantastic place make sure you come down to Bury guys a lovely little town if you have enjoyed the video today you know what to do subscribe share and like and I'll see you in the next video bye